What is up, people of the YouTube? Hello, if you've never met me before, my name is Chantal. For those of you who have been watching my videos, you will know that I am not exactly your typical beauty guru YouTuber. I don't even know what kind of YouTuber I am. I'm like a, a variety, like an all sorts kind. So this tutorial video is not going to be the same as the ones you'd usually watch. We're just gonna figure it out together. And if I make mistakes, oh well, you will know that I'm not perfect and that I'm human just like you. Cause I really don't know what I'm doing. So one day, um, Nicole and I got our hair trimmed by my mom. And so I kneeled down to sweep up the hair. And as I kneeled, this beautiful rip just came upon me, oh mommy. So we will be doing a DIY ripped knee jeans, distressed jeans. And yeah, let's get started. You will need a pair of scissors, a marker of some sort. You can use a pen, some people use chalk, and get tweezers. And if you want to distress your jeans easily, then get a grater. Otherwise, I will be showing you how to just use scissors because I'm too lazy to walk downstairs and get the grater. So let's get started with this DIY. I'm going to be different and talk to you. So now I'm going to first. Okay, so I have my things that I need for this. Let's do what they did in the videos. So first they were like, okay, you have to um, put on your jeans and then mark where you would like your rip. Even though I know where it should be because I mean, but I'm just, yeah, let's put on our pants. Okay, so as you can see, my pants are on and the rip in my jeans are in the perfect place. You're gonna want to make the marking at the top of your knee because if it's gonna be at the bottom of your knee, then it's gonna like sag when it starts to wear and tear on its own. So yeah, if you don't already have guidance of where to do it, go ahead and make your marking on your pants. Then we start with cutting the material. Rather fold the pants so that it's easier to cut it, I guess. So we're gonna try cut it as horizontal as possible so that we can have some of these um, horizontal threads but I can't guarantee anything, so sorry guys if it's wrong. But let's let's cut this. Okay. Now we can distress it. Since my scissors aren't sh that sharp, I can hold it like this and just distress it. This isn't advisable because it's kind of dangerous if you don't know how to handle scissors, but. I don't recommend children to go and do this. <laughs> Ooh, if this comes out ugly, I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, so I give up. So we're gonna now take the tweezers and we're going to basically pull out. Are we? Are we? I don't even know. Okay, wait, let me think about this first. To be honest, guys, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just going ahead and pulling this. Okay, so I kind of gave up on tweezing because all these little horizontal threads are kind of annoying me. So I'm going to go ahead and try trim them. Do your best not to cut any horizontal ones that are still intact because that's just not going to end so well. People who do tutorials make it look so easy. I don't know, do I overthink it or am I just dumb? So yeah, you just keep tweezing until you're happy with how distressed it looks. Right, so since I gave up with like the 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 ripped knee, I just I actually want to distress patches into my jeans and so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. You pick wherever you would like to have your rips and your distressness and you are going to make slits. So you're gonna take your material and as best as possible you're going to cut horizontally. So I'm gonna make three cuts. I don't know if you can see. Let's try to show you as best as possible. Okay, so that's one, another one, and another one. Again, we're trying not to cut the horizontal strings, but I've already cut some, so I give up. So yeah, these are literally however wide you would like to make them. Let me show you my slits. So I've made three slits. Now you're gonna start pulling at the edges of the thing. You can distress it however much you want to. So this is what basically will kind of turn out. Okay, it looks like poo right now, but I will 
fix it. But yeah, if you had to just, you would just have it distressed in your jeans. But Chantal did it a bit pooey, so don't do what I'm doing if you don't want it to look like this. Okay, so that was just an experiment. Now I'm gonna try go a little bigger. Guys, the sun is literally setting and I'm still not done with this piece that I've been trying to distress. And I really feel like this is gonna be a fail tutorial, but I'm just gonna try my best to finish it up and then see what the finished look is. Because I tried on my jeans and there's a bit too much skin showing through my my ripped sections. And I don't know if it's if it looks okay or not, but I'm just gonna keep going and then you guys can decide for yourself whether you wanna follow my tutorials or not. If I had a practice round, then that would be great, but unfortunately, this was just a, just do it, so. Alrighty guys, so I kinda gave up on my pants. I kinda ruined them a bit too much. So there's like rips in places where they sh there shouldn't be rips. So I'm gonna just get rid of them. I feel really sad right now, but at least you know that sometimes these tutorials don't really go as perfect as most people do them. I don't know if I was just like, if I'm just stupid or something, but I just, I'm upset that I didn't just leave my pants at the ripped knee. Instead, I tried to distress them and I over distress them and I basically ruined my pants. Some pictures of like ripped jeans have a lot of their, their skin showing from their thighs, but I don't like the way it looks on me and I don't like the way it looks with those specific jeans. So I decided to just give up and not just not even try to finish. I'm actually gonna show you the results. I decided to show you so that you don't do this. The rip at the knee came out perfect. So this is the... Is this the accident one? I think that's accident. And this is the made one. Then this is my distressed. You see, I over, I misjudged like where my slits go and I made this one and it's obviously it's not in a good place. Some people wouldn't mind this much distressedness in their pants, but I do mind so I'm not gonna wear these pants. I can't even like just patch it up with another piece of denim. So yeah, this is the end result. So I guess you can follow the tutorial for the knee, the ripped knee, but don't do it for this if you don't want so much skin showing. I'm so sad guys. <sighs> but anyways, um, I'll try again. I'll try another tutorial of doing ripped jeans, rip the ripped knee at least. So you know that not every tutorial goes out so perfect, especially when you're me because I mess up a few things. I feel like crying. It's my time. My curtain's closed now. I'm using my lamp as my lighting. I'm so frustrated right now. I'm actually just gonna go in and eat something. Don't give this video a thumbs up because it was literally just wasting my time. But yeah, stay tuned for next week's video. Subscribe, comment, do all that fun stuff. And I feel so sad right now. I'm not even gonna say what I usually say. So bye, guys.